Welcome aboard, fellow enthusiasts, as we embark on another incredible video. Hello, dear viewers. Get ready to expand your horizons as we delve into Anna Tibayuka. Anna Kajumalo Tibayuka, born 12 October 1950, is a Tanzanian politician and United Nations official. She was a Chamacha Mapinduzi CCM member of the National Assembly for Mulba South constituency during 2010 to 2020 and served as the Minister of Lands, Housing and Human Settlement Developments from 2010 to 2014. Tibayuka is also a former Under Secretary General of the United Nations and Executive Director of the United Nations Human Settlements Program UNHABITAT. She was the second highest ranking African woman in the UN system, after Deputy Secretary General Usher Rose Mijiro, until her resignation in 2010 to run for political office in Tanzania. Now, let's dig deeper into early life and education and unveil the hidden treasures it holds within. Tibayuka was born on 12 October 1950 in Kagaburo, Mulba District, Tanganyika Territory now a part of Kagera region of Tanzania to small holder farmers. She received IBSC from Sokoin University of Agriculture and studied agricultural economics at the Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences in Uppsala. She is fluent in English, Swahili, Swedish and French. As we progress, let's zoom in on academic career and examine its role in shaping our overall narrative. From 1993 to 1998, Tibayuka was Associate Professor of Economics at the University of Dar es Salaam. During this period, she was also a member of the Tanzanian government delegation to several United Nations summits, including the United Nations Conference on Human Settlements Istanbul. 1996, the World Food Summit Rome, 1996, the Fourth World Conference on Women Beijing, 1995, and the World Summit for Social Development Copenhagen, 1995. At the World Food Summit in Rome, she was elected coordinator for Eastern Africa in the Network for Food Security, Trade and Sustainable Development COASAD. Tibayuka has also been a board member of UNESCO's International Scientific Advisory Board since November 1997. She is a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Agriculture and Forestry. Moving on to the next segment, we have Executive Director of UNHABITAT. In September 2000, she was appointed by Secretary General Kofi Annan as Executive Director of the United Nations Center for Human Settlements. During her first two years in office, Tibayuka oversaw major reforms which resulted in the United Nations General Assembly upgrading the center to program status and renaming it the United Nations Human Settlement Program UNHABITAT. Tibayuka was elected by the General Assembly to her first four-year term as head of the new agency in July 2002 and was given the rank of Under Secretary General as the first African woman to reach this level within the UN system. In the following segment, we'll be examining special envy of the Secretary General in greater detail. In June 2005, the Secretary General appointed Tibayuka as his Special Envoy on Human Settlements Issues in Zimbabwe, with the directive to study the impact of the Zimbabwean government's campaign to evict informal traders and people deemed to be squatting illegally in certain areas, known as Operation Moramitsvina. As the evictions were concentrated on areas which had traditionally strongly supported the oppositional movement for democratic change, many commentators believed the campaign was politically motivated. Although this was denied by the Zimbabwean government, there was strong international criticism. Tibiuka concluded her report saying that while purporting to target illegal dwellings and structures and to clamp down on alleged illicit activities, was carried out in an indiscriminate and unjustified manner, with indifference to human suffering. In the upcoming portion, we'll be dissecting Water Supply and Sanitation Collaborative Council to gain a comprehensive understanding of its implications. The steering committee of the Water Supply and Sanitation Collaborative Council elected Anna Tibayuka as its new chair on 19 October 2010. Tibayuka succeeded Roberto Lenton, 
whose second and final term of office ended in March 2011. In the upcoming portion, we'll be dissecting Blair Commission and Commission on Africa to gain a comprehensive understanding of its implications. In 2004, the British Prime Minister, Tony Blair, invited T.B. Uka to be a member of the Commission for Africa, which he established to generate ideas and action to accelerate and sustain Africa's growth and development. The Commission, comprising 16 internationally known figures, completed its report in March 2005. In the following section, we'll be immersing ourselves in the captivating world of career in politics. In the Tanzanian national election, held October 2010, she became a member of Parliament MP for CCM, representing the Mulba district in the Kagera region. Moving ahead, let's uncover the hidden gems within teacher escrow scandal and discover their significance. In December 2014, President of the United Republic of Tanzania J.K. Kikwet sacked Tibayuka from a post of Minister for Lands, Housing and Human Settlement Development over her alleged involvement in the Asmillion Tija escrow account scandal. Kikwet said he had asked Tibayuka to leave room for a new appointee, after she had not shown due diligence when receiving Asmillion from James Rujmalura of VIP Engineering and Marketing VIPEM linked to the scandal. T.B. Yuka stated that the money was a donation for the Johansson Girls Education Trust and that she had forwarded it after receiving it on a personal account. As we venture forward, let's examine re-election 2015 in detail and gain a deeper appreciation for its significance. In 2015 she was renominated by 63% of regional CCM members to run again for the parliamentary seat of Mulba South. She won the election and returned to the Parliament. Get ready for a thought-provoking discussion as we delve into personal life and its impact on our understanding. She was married to former Tanzanian Ambassador Wusan Kemu Habuti Bayuka from 1975 until his death in 2000 and they have five children, Nuganyazi born 1976, Kemayan born 1979, Hagmalo born 1986, Kankiza born 1991, and one adopted child. Without further ado, let's move on to the topic of awards. 2009, Gothenburg Award for Sustainable Development 2016, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa UN Habitat Award for Sustainable Development. I love hearing from you, so leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments.